<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you ready for your next act? Keep that love and laughter going. All the way from the ACT, Joe Donovan! Good evening, everyone. My name is Joe Donovan. I'm a Dungali woman. Thank you. That's my mob up there. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of stories to share with you tonight. Experiences that I've had in my life. It's been a long life. One story I'd like to take you on a journey back to Wagga when I was living there. And I was going out with this fella, quite popular in the community. And uh, he rings me up and he says, come on over and let's go out to dinner. I went, yeah, all right. I got over there and he um, answered the door. Come in, babe. He said, I'm just gonna quickly have a shower and you can iron my shirt for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, like a good little woman. I just said, yeah, I'll do that for you, darling. He said, um, while I'm having a shower, he said, come in and join me when you're finished. <laughs> How generous of him. <laughs> so anyway, I ironed his shirt, went in the shower, and in this house, it's, it's an old house, and it's got the shower in the bathtub with the shower curtain, all familiar with that? Anyway, I open the door, pulls back the curtain, and here he is. I said, what are you doing, babe? He said, I said, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's kept doing this all the time. Finally turned around and went, cleaning me teeth. Cleaning me teeth. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I said, cleaning your teeth? I said, how can I not know that you have false teeth? I've been with you a year. He went, you got a problem? I must have said this about 10 times. And he went, you got a problem with it? I said, no, I don't have a problem with it, darling. But like, you've got false teeth and I didn't know. How could a person not know that stuff? I thought, oh, like, I better shut up. I'm digging myself a bigger hole and I'm embarrassing this poor fella. The relationship's gonna be ended in a minute. <laughs> so I got in the shower and I, um, I turned to him and I was feeling pretty cool, felt, I think really relaxed about the whole situation. And I turned to him and I said, oh, babe, that's okay. Everything's good. I said, can you pass me the tea? Oh, God, I meant the soap. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't over it. <laughs> okay, another one. Um, for many years, I was a public servant in Canberra. And like most public servants, every second Friday, we have happy hour. And... Um, I was working in the department of Jewer at the time, and big party animals they are. So we'd be drinking happy hour, uh, sorry, having happy hour and drinking heaps, and then we'd go all go out to the nightclub on a Friday night. And um, this nightclub called Mooseheads. Um, we got there and started playing pool, talking to everybody, and I've said. Um, Oh, look, I just want to hear a really good song tonight. And um, I was playing music, and this finally, this really great song came on that it was my favourite. I just jumped up and I started dancing. And I thought, you know, I'm going to move and I'm going to groove and I'm just going to dance this song all by myself. I don't care if anyone gets up with me, it's okay. And this little dwarf fella comes over and he starts like looking at me, you know, dance with me, babe. I went, uh, it's right, mate, it's right, I'm dancing. <laughs> Things by myself, it's cool. Anyway, looking at me like this, I went, oh, okay. It's okay, let's dance. So I grabbed his hands and went dancing away. <laughs> dancing on the hip like this, like there, swinging round, doing the whole thing. Anyway, he must have been worse than I was in drinking and he actually fell over. 
And I was like, oh my God, get up, get up, you're embarrassing me. Looked over at all my friends and they're like, oh my God, just let me just get, don't even look at us. And this fella, he's like, I'm trying to, and you know, I don't know whether you've ever tried to pick up short people, but they're really heavy. And I'm like, and I'm like dragging him like this, get up mate, get up. Anyway, he started like, getting up like, rolling there, like a bug on his back, not being able to move. And he kind of started moving to the side a bit like this and rolling over and he finally got up and he went, oh, okay, that's it. I said, you better go, mate, you better go, that's it, that's it, we're finished dancing. What happened the next day was um, typical of the curry grapevine. I was like, every conceivable communication that ever was happened. People were teletexting, SMSing, pigeon flying <laughs> or messaging. If they had smoke signals, they'd be doing that. That Joe Donovan was actually dwarf tossing down at Mooseheads the <laughs> night before. Unbelievable. Thank you, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, please give that round of applause.